everyone and thank you for watching and your world videos. In this lecture, we will continue our study about cheating process in SAP ERP system. Next step in customizing shipping documents is to define delivery item categories. The item category field controls how the system processes the delivery item. It is conceptually similar to the item category field in a sales document. To set up item categories, go to SPRO transaction. Click on SAP Reference IMG, go to Logistics Execution, Shipping, Deliveries, Define Item Categories for Deliveries. If you have to define a new item category, it is advisable to copy it from an existing standard one. This ensures that all the critical fields are copied over, and then you only have to change those fields that you want to change from original. We will now discuss some of the major fields in the delivery item category screen. Now choose Standard item TAN, it's a standard item for delivery. Select this entry and click on copy as reference and add prefix Z. So we see here our item category, we see here document category and for deliveries. Document category will be delivery. We have material statistics tab and we see that material zero allowed. Item category statistical group is empty and stock determination rule is empty. Quantity tab. There are certain controls based on quantity in the delivery. Through the settings on the quantity tab, the system can check for zero quantity and respond with an error when it ties. Similarly, you can control the checks for a minimum delivery quantity and over delivery situation. Warehouse control and packing tab. On the warehouse control and packing tab, you can decide whether picking and packing are relevant for this item category. In the case of packing relevance, you can also specify whether it is mandatory or optional. We will discuss the processes of picking and packing later in our lecture. You can also control the role of storage location in the delivery. You can make, make it a mandatory field in the document. We can also request automatic determination of storage location. And we will return to this uh, later in our lecture. Now we can save our changes. Next step is to set up item category termination. Go to Define item categories termination in deliveries. So as shown in the screen for each combination, you can specify a default item category and other permitted item categories that the user is allowed to change in the delivery document.
Next step is setting up copy controls for deliveries. In the case of deliveries that are created with reference to a sales document, we have to control the flow of data into the delivery. This step ensures continuity of data, copies essential information, and avoids manual data inputs in delivery creation. The copy controls between sales and delivery document can be controlled at the header and item levels using copy routines. The copy controls can be set up as in MG implementation menu, go to shipping, copy control, specify copy control for deliveries. Select the target document. and sell document type. At the header screen, there are three tabs, conditions, data transfer tab, and control data. In condition tabs, it is the summary of the main options as um, order requirements. The copy routine assigned here checks whether certain requests are fulfilled before a delivery can be created from a sales document. Combination requirement routine. The combination requirement routine checks for certain conditions to be made before multiple cell documents can be combined into a single delivery. In Data Transfer tab, here is a summary of the main option of the Data Transfer tab, Header Data Routine. The Header Data Routine controls the data that is copied from order to delivery. Technically, if you want uh, certain data to be copied, from the order header and the destination is delivery header, you can set up a routine and attach it here. Control data. If you select checkbox copy item number on the counter data tab, the items would retain the same item number as in the sales document. It would make sense to keep this checkbox selected if you are dealing with large orders that may result in multiple deliveries and post delivery analysis is required. At the item level, you have to specify the item category and select the details view. Define item category TAN. The condition tab has an order requirement, routine that performs item level checks before the order is copied into the delivery. Data transfer tab. Item data. The item data routine on the data transfer tab controls the data that will be copied at the item category level. Business data routine. The business data routine controls the copying of business data. If you need any data stored in the um, BBKD table to be copied over into your delivery, this is the routine you can use. Control data tab. The update document flow setting on this tab controls whether the source and destination documents will be shown as linked in the document flow. And you can return to the SAP Easy Access menu. We will continue our study about shipping process in our next lecture. Thank you for watching Edupedia World Videos.